Hi, and welcome to Bethel Church Daily Devotional. It is such a joy and honor to spend a few moments with you all as we look at Pastor Frank's message titled Reach with Collaboration from his series Reach. If you haven't yet had a chance to listen to it yet, you can go to Bethel.org and find it there. The definition of the word collaboration, according to dictionary.com, is the act of working together, especially on a goal or shared project. As a Christ follower, we are called to be co-laborers with Jesus as we partner together in reaching the lost in however he leads us to them. It is our availability to this call that gives eyes to our hearts to see the broken people all around us. Pastor Frank gave us three big ideas that represent the power of collaboration. One is to keep our eyes on our own need for God's mercy. Lamentations 3, 21 through 23 says, But this I recall, and therefore have I hope and expectation. It is because of the Lord's mercy and loving kindness that we are not consumed, because his tender compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great and abundant is your stability and faithfulness. Friends, let's recall and live expectantly in the hope of the Lord's new mercies that we are promised to receive every morning because we need his mercy every morning. The second big idea is to keep our eyes on others that needs God's mercy. Matthew 5, 7 says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Being merciful to others means that we are full of compassion and pity towards those who are suffering either from sin or great sorrow in their lives, as we sincerely want to make their suffering less by bringing them to the grace and help of God through Jesus Christ. The third point is to keep helping others carry their mat to Jesus. Galatians 6, 2 says, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. To help carry each other's burdens is, is to fulfill the law of Christ. It's what he asks of us. This means to do what Jesus did when he saw and helped the needy who gathered around him. We are surrounded by individuals in great need who are living in our neighborhoods or working at the grocery stores that we shop at, who are overwhelmed by their needs and the cares of this world, making them literally unable to physically, mentally, emotionally, or financially help themselves. Friends, let's allow the busyness of this season to be about bringing others to know Jesus and his love as we together allow the Lord to open the eyes of our hearts to see those around us that are in need of our help in carrying their burdens to Jesus as they find him to be the answer that they have been looking for. Let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for this season that we're in. Thank you, Lord, that we have many opportunities all around us, God, of people that are in need, Lord, people that maybe even live next door to us, that, Father, are hurting and that need you, and they, you want to use us, Father, to bring them to you. So, Father, I pray right now that we would not take the busyness of this season to use it for ourselves, Father God, but we would use it to see others, to see the needs around us, to see the hurt, hurting ones around us that need you, a touch from you, as we stop to pray for them, as we stop, Father God, to meet needs that, Lord, you have asked us to partner with you in to help meet these people where they are at so that we can bring them to you. Help us to be available, God, and help us, Lord God, to sense the leading of your Holy Spirit to say yes to you when we see the need. We ask this in your mighty and your holy name, Jesus. And we all said, amen. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.